What is Heartletics? You know, I was asked this question so much today. Um, basically, once a month, I go out to these networking events that's local, and all these business owners, they conversate, they mingle with each other, they talk, they network, they build these relationships, and it's awesome. I'm really blessed to be a part of it. And, um, you know, there's couple, I don't know, maybe 80, 90, 100 guys there, right? So we're all kind of talking. Everybody is talking about their business. And so when it comes to the time where you have to present your business, you have only about 30 seconds. It's a quick elevator pitch. And so I'm thinking to myself, right, as everybody's going around the room and I'm the last person to present, uh, everybody's going around the room and I'm like, all right, like, what is Heartletics? How can I present that in 30 seconds because there is so much that is involved and so much that goes into it what 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 can i say here to really spark a difference in you know somebody hearing what i have to say my message and for them to you know think about things differently so i thought to myself okay why don't i ask questions instead of me telling everybody about what heartletics is why don't i first start off by asking questions and that's exactly what i did and I want to ask you the same question, right? I asked, hey, has anybody ever went to Google, YouTube, Facebook, or maybe even asked a friend or family member, how do I lose weight? Maybe, how do I work out? Maybe, how do I, you know, get off my medications? Maybe, how to have better mental health? And so everybody's hands in the room just raised. So the next question that I asked was, have you ever thought very like there's so much out there that you were just kind of confused? Maybe you Google searched or went to Facebook, right? And it was like, how do I lose weight? And Google is telling you all these different things. Facebook, you get all these different recommendations from who's ever on your friends list. And it's this over analysis paralysis. Who do you believe? Like, you know, like it, it's just kind of crazy with so much information that's out there. I mean, think about it on, on Google or YouTube, you can find somebody that's in shape telling you to not eat carbohydrates and somebody that's in shape telling you to eat carbohydrates. It's this over analysis paralysis and it confuses a lot of people. And so I asked that and everybody's hands still stood up, right? Where it's just like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And so my next question was, have you ever heard this phrase? You can give a man a fish and feed him for a day, or you can teach a man how to fish and feed him for the rest of his life. And once again, everybody's hands was up. So I was like, all right, cool. So just so everybody knows, like my name is Coach Joe. I'm the CEO. I'm the head coach of Heartletics. And I'm not trying to pitch you guys on anything. All I'm trying to do is bring awareness that the things that maybe you were looking up to, you know, have better health and to lose weight and how to, you know, build muscle and maybe get off your medications, whatever the case may be, continue to try. Maybe you saw some information and then saw some information and it conflicted the two where it made you feel very confused and, you know, kind of stopped you in your tracks from taking that next step. Continue to try. Uh, myself, my team, right? We've been doing this for a very long time where we help teach people sustainable habits that work best for their lifestyle. Simple things like walking drinking plenty of water, focusing on more protein, resistance training, stress management, right? All these different things that I'm kind of telling them. And I leave it off as continue to try, continue to try, continue to try, continue to try. Consistency is key. And it really is. And that's what the message that I want you to understand is continue to try. Don't give up. Because this is where Heartletics thrives at. It's not just, oh, we're teaching somebody sustainable habits. And I'm going to talk about that here in a little bit. But it's more so about, hey, how do we give somebody the fuel, the passion, the motivation? That way they're hungry to make a change. They're not going to be complacent and just sit there and uh, let, you know, Groundhog's Day over and over and over again. No, they're continuing to strive 1% better each and every day. And so after that networking event, like, you know, when everybody had to give their presentation ended, everybody's kind of mingling, talking. And I got like, I don't know, five, eight people right, right behind me, just like waiting to talk to me as I'm already talking to a few people. And, you know, the questions was, so what is Heartletics? What is Heartletics? What is Heartletics? You know, giving them a little teaser in that little, you know, uh, 30 second elevator pitch where they wanted more information. And now it was an opportunity for me to tell them about Heartletics and what it is. 
and how it's more than just teaching somebody how to fish, right, so to speak, or I'm teaching somebody how to eat and how to train properly for their body type and goals. No, it's a lot more than that. It's giving somebody the impact to have on other people's lives. It's giving somebody the inspiration to continue to move forward and not quit. It's giving somebody the fuel to their fire, plain and simple, right? That's what Heartletics is. I can tell you what Heartletics is not. Well, hey, Heartletics is not a diet. Heartletics is not a program that's a one size fits all cheap cookie cutter program by any means. No, because think about it, right? All those things out there, you probably tried doing, right? You probably tried before in the past, which means that your lifestyle is over here. You had to fit it in with these diets and with these programs. That's one size fits all, which means that you probably had some success because anytime you make any kind of change in your life instantly, right? You're going to see success. Like the first five, 10, 15 pounds is instantly going to happen. But what happens when life throws you curveballs, right? That's what Heartletics is, is just like, we're there to teach you how to hit home runs during those curveballs. We're there to teach you and work with your lifestyle, right? As far as not just giving you a fish, but teaching you how to fish. So what does that mean? Well, think about it like this. There's not a one size fits all with anything, plain and simple. Uh, somebody might have a different job compared to somebody else. Somebody might be, you know, different age than somebody else. Somebody might work out in the gym. Somebody might work out at home. Somebody might have past and current injuries. There's so much different factors in all this, you know, and how your body, right, speeds up its metabolic rates, how it burns body fat. That right there is a sweet science. And it's very easy to take that sweet science and implement it into somebody's lifestyle to where all they have to do is make these small little adjustments, these small little tweaks. And as long as they can successfully do that, but most importantly, acquire the knowledge, which I'm gonna talk about here in a little bit, when you have the knowledge of knowing how and when to make adjustments, right? Either for your calories, either for your macronutrients, either for your training or your habits, whatever the case may be, you're never gonna hit these metabolic stalls. So you can continue down the hamster wheel of constantly burning body fat. That's what everybody wants. But we do so in a way where, you know, it's not just, okay, you got to eat this protein. All right. Hey, you got to, you know, sleep eight hours. Hey, you got to do this. No, it's once again, working with somebody's lifestyle. And what does that mean? Well, hey, most of people's lifestyles, they're going out to eat with their friends and family. They're traveling. Maybe they can't sleep eight hours, whatever the case may be, but it's teaching them what kind of adjustments to make. And that is what's really going to help them have this long-term effect. So that way, when life does throw them curveballs, they don't fall off the wagon. We follow what's called a three-step fat loss formula, which is very simple. Acquisition, application, and accountability. So acquisition is the knowledge, right? Meaning, hey, somebody has to teach you how to properly eat, teach you how to properly train, plain and simple. That's the foundation. That's why I'm not a fan of, you know, the different diets and programs that's out there, right? It's just like if somebody wants to go ahead and get weight loss surgery, right? Liposuction. The odds and chances of them regaining all that weight right back are so high simply because the fact is they didn't change their habits. They didn't change their foundation. They, it's literally just a band-aid to a gunshot wound. Same thing with the diets, same thing with the programs. You need to change your foundation. You need to change your mindset. You need to change your habits. You need to change that. And the only way to change that is if one, somebody is teaching you. It's not like you just instantly, hey, I'm in my 40s, my 60s, whatever the case may be. I never drove a car before. I can just grab these keys, start up the car, and instantly, you know, know how to stop at a red side, you know, a red light, turn it around, right? Do all this, right? Like, no. Somebody has to teach you, plain and simple. Somebody had to teach you how to ride a bike. Somebody had to teach you how to brush your teeth. Somebody had to teach you math. Somebody had to teach you science. So why would somebody, you know, why would you not want somebody to teach you how to properly eat, how to properly train? Because that's priceless. What does that mean? Well, at the end of the day, if you're adding years added onto your life, that's longevity. That's priceless. But most importantly, it's inspirational because now you can have that impact in other people's lives. Because somebody taught you and you can then teach somebody else as well. That's what we really thrive on at Heartletics. The second is obviously application, 
right? And that's okay. Once you, you know, acquire the knowledge of knowing how to properly eat, knowing how to properly train, how do we then go about to creating sustainable habits and applying that to our lifestyle to where, yeah, we go out to eat. We can apply the 80, 20 rule. We can fit in our alcohol. We can fit in our donuts, our pizza, our cheesecake, whatever it is that you want, you know how to fit it in. You know, there's different strategies when going out to eat, you know how to easily implement that. It's easy, plain and simple. But what what makes it so easy? Well, guess what? That foundation acquisition, remember, somebody taught you, somebody coached you, somebody gave you the knowledge. Once you have that, that's that foundation. Everything else is so much easier after that. So once again, application is just applying that knowledge to create sustainable habits that work for somebody's lifestyle, their occupation, their family life at home, training, their body type, everything. Lastly, right, is accountability. And accountability is huge. Accountability is more than just, hey, somebody's looking over your data. This is at least what we do at Heartletics, right? Somebody's looking over your data, making sure that you're following through the program correctly. Uh, they're checking in with you, making sure that you know uh, you like everything, it's easy to follow, it's sustainable for you and your lifestyle. It's more than that, right? Accountability is also community. And this is why at Heartletics, we always, always, always strive our members to be a part of the community groups. Even if they first get signed in for our coaching program and they're just getting started off, hey, go in the community groups, introduce yourself, share with everybody your goals, because the more you are engaged with other people that's on the same path with you, the more likely you're gonna have success. Jim Rome said that you become the sum of the five people that you spend around the most time with. Les Brown said, birds of a feather flock together. If you hang around a life with losers, you become a loser. If you hand around a life with winners, you become a winner. And trust me, like the guys inside the community groups, they are nothing but winners. They have that winner's mindset. And so this is why we always encourage everybody. It's just like, hey, like think about it. If you're celebrating your wins and, hey, I lost X amount of weight or, hey, guys, like I, I, I feel more energy or, hey, I, I you know hit this PRs or, hey, I was able to fit in, you know, these pants or these, you know, the shirt size. If you feel more comfortable sharing those wins inside the community group, think about it. You're gonna feel also comfortable when life throws you curveballs. Hey guys, I forgot, you know, to, you know, whatever. I forgot this at home. I'm, I'm I messed up my nutrition for the day. Hey guys, I I I can't make it to the gym. I you know hurt my ankle. Hey guys, I I can't do this. Or hey guys, I, I fell off the wagon for a few days. Like think about it. If you're having if you're if you're having a hard time and you don't feel comfortable and confident to share and celebrate the wins when you're having a good time, what makes you feel like you can have success, right? And also share the hard times inside the community group. Most people cannot. That's why we always encourage everybody, go in there, go in there, go in there. There is so much love, so much support in there. You need it because life is gonna test you. And this is where we're coming up to the last part of what Heartletics is. It is the mindset. This is the only program coaching, you know, whatever it is that you want to call it that's out there that mixes everything, not just training, not just nutrition, not just accountability, not just mindset, but everything all into one, all into one. And that mindset, it's so important. That is really the root of this all. Uh, how we help our members with the mindset is helping them think differently about nutrition helping them think differently about their body, helping them think differently about their goals, giving them all the inspiration, the motivation to continue that 1% better each and every day mentality. Consistency is key, right? Plain and simple. You know, at the end of the day, the, the mindset shift that anybody has at Heartletics, that's always gonna be the best reward and the best result. We've literally helped out thousands of guys, you right? Burn body fat, put on lean muscle tissue, We've helped out hundreds of guys get off their blood pressure and cholesterol medications. We even helped out dozens of guys lower their A1C levels and reverse their type 2 diabetes. How did that happen? Was it just because they followed through with our nutrition guidance? Was it just because they followed through with doing the workouts that we set up for them? Maybe, right? I'm sure they had a great part, but I think below the surface is they had that mindset shift, that identity change, knowing and having faith that, hey, it's going to happen to them. It can. It, it's going to break those self-learning beliefs. 
They can get off the medications. They can reach their goals. They can have more energy to play with the kids. They can have more confidence, plain and simple. And when you have guys in your corner that's supporting you, I promise you, right, you are going to be able to take on the world. You're going to be able to do anything. And overcoming, right, your internal bad wolf, we like to say, because it's always the good wolf versus the bad wolf, and that bad wolf's the ego. That bad wolf is the one that's telling you, oh, you know all the answers. Oh, you don't need this. Oh, you you can do this all on your own. Or it's okay. Hey, we can just have a little bit here and not track for it. Hey, we can just, you know, skip our workout here and say that we did it, right? That's the bad wolf. You know, and it's just like the bad wolf wants you to stay within your comfort zone. And that, my friend, is where you'll never have success. You will never achieve your goals is inside your comfort zone. And the, the first step is always the hardest step. But you know what makes it a lot easier? When you have guys in your corner that support you. So what is Heartletics? Well, hey, it's coaching you to become the best version of yourself. It's teaching you how to properly eat, how to properly train to create sustainable habits for your lifestyle, but most importantly, giving you the mindset, giving you the confidence, giving you all the tools to succeed in life mentally and physically to have success at reaching your goals once and for all.